This is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. Huffer is part of the second wave of Deluxe Class figures for the Kingdom line. I picked up this figure from Hobby Corner. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is Huffer out of packaging. And the figure looks great. At least in robot mode, the figure is absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, it does not come with this blast effect. I just added it. It's from a... Uh, Battle Master. I can't remember who it was, but it, the weapon will fit most of the blast effects, if not all. So it's very G1 looking. I cannot say or comment enough that how good the G1 reference is with this figure. The way all of these elements have been sculpted, the Hasbro and Takara Tomy, they really, really nailed the G1 likeness uh of this figure at least how he looked like in the cartoons and in the comic books so he does come with this blaster i don't know if it's a rifle or a pistol huge pistol which is pretty cool looking he also comes with a shield i have my comments on this shield later on but the shield will fit nicely on either arm this way or this way it kind of feels like it's a claw he can use to harvest the crops or just slash around some decepticons Right there. The truck cab on the back, this is, I believe, the official transformation. And my comment here is the instructions don't really tell you how to transform it. The box says it's this way. Instructions say it's like this, but I feel there is a way to bring it closer to his body because this is just jutting out too much. You can bend it, not all the way in, because if you bend it all the way, that's truck mode. You can bend it like 45 degrees, just like that. And I think the clearance is enough for the arms, the head, and I think this looks a lot better than the official transformation. The heel spurs, they extend way too much and they're a little bit of an eyesore uh, for the figure. I guess they had to do that. I don't know how they could have fixed that. I might have a few suggestions here and there later at the end of the video, but they needed that because he's back heavy so he doesn't topple over. And in transformation, this heel spurs, they actually, they actually form the hitch, the trailer hitch the uh, of the back of the cab. Articulation for the figure, he's got a ball jointed neck, which is actually pretty cool. No light piping, but the uh, head sculpt, again, very cool. My copy of the figure, it's not as glued on properly, the back part and the front part, so just be wary of that. I'm sure there's a way to fix that, but I don't know how. Okay, and then we've got a waist swivel. Not part of transformation, but they have put it in. I love that. Arms can go in and out, forward and backwards. Got a bicep swivel, hinge elbow. Wrists can go in and out because of transformation. Uh, hips are on a ball, ball hinge, I guess, universal hinge. But the thigh swivel is cut right here with some kibble. With part of the, it's not actually kibble, but it's a sculpt of the thigh that they left on, much like the 86 blur. Uh, it doesn't hinder articulation as much as that blur figure did, so I'm pretty okay with it. But it, it can block uh, the legs from moving, from getting into certain poses. Uh, because of the angled portion of that thigh, but that's fine. It doesn't really bug me too much. Uh, knee, knees are on a hinge. They can go more than 90 degrees, 100, 120 degrees because of transformation, even all the way back up that because of transformation. Uh, the ankles, the ever-present uh, ankle pivots, which is pretty cool. Okay, pain apps for the figure, spot on. Uh, don't know how they could have improved it. Silver arms. This nice tangerine orange for the truck pieces. And you've got this, uh, I don't know, it's a deep uh, purplish blue with some highlights right here. Autobot logo, perfect, perfect colors. Paint apps on this figure. Size comparisons in robot mode. You can clearly see Huffer bigger than Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee. Warpath is about half a centimeter taller. Uh, head to toe. Transformation for Huffer, get rid of the weapons right here. Transformation I felt was a little bit tricky. More on that later once we fully transformed him. First thing you want to do is rotate that head all the way back 180 degrees. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to pop the shoulders out like this. Okay, and then wait, you want to fold down this torso assembly right here. 
and then these wheels you just pop them all the way down like this because it's a very very thin clearance the clearance on on this is it, you know you have to put the wheels all the way down like that just be careful because they tend to pop off the first time i did this was this wheel just popped off and just be careful with that and then what you want to do is you want to fold this whole torso assembly all the way back like this but fold the shoulders inward like this i know it's pretty complicated but you get there and then the shoulders kind of tab into i don't know if you can see it but there are tabs on the waist or the hips you just tab them like that and that secures the the exhausts i suppose or as it were of the truck so just like that and then rotate the forearm or the bicep like this so that the peg the peg holes the hexagon peg holes are facing outwards and then you want to do this fold down the fists like this i thought they could have done better with these fists i thought they could have folded all the way into the forearms don't know why they chose to have it stop like this to give it i don't know if this, to give it more body for the truck anyway so next is that whole truck assembly the truck cab you see these pegs right here they're going to tab onto those slots right there and then at the same time that double hinge is going to collapse onto itself like that all the way down and just finish off by tabbing those forearms right there you see that huge huge hole just underneath the cab i honestly don't know how they could have fixed that or there i'm pretty sure there's a way to remedy that but maybe some filler like a spring-loaded filler p I, I don't know anyway and here's what i was talking about the heel spurs are going to fold up like this and like this and you're going to join the feet together and it's going to fold all the way up like this the instructions tell you to snap them all the way all the way in but i i'm not going to well i'll show that off later but this is for me the truck mode you can stop right there don't snap that those legs all the way because you get a straight truck you get a straight line right there because if you do follow the instructions to the letter and then you tab those heels all the way up to the waist this is what you get the truck is kind of sagging like this and there's really no way to to straighten that out because i this is flush like when you fold everything tight and snug it looks like that it, it i don't know if it's an illusion but it kind of looks like the truck is sagging like this but if you fold the wheels properly even if you tab it all the way in you should still be able to get it to roll barely so that's my uh, reservation with this kind of completing the transformation so what i do is i just untab it a little bit and just line it up properly and you get a more straight looking truck just like that and then the useless shield is going to tab onto here it doesn't really add anything to be quite honest uh, i thought the shield on its own was pretty good it's like a tactical riot shield with that window right there i thought that was pretty okay but it was a lot too small for the figure but if you add it on the back it just gives him like a plow or an external bumper which to me does not serve any purpose except well to hold the guns the instructions tell you to you can snap the gun like that or you can split up the gun splitting up the gun allows you to tab the gun in either side it's orange painted and again it doesn't add anything it does what is it it's like a truck bed it turns them into a pickup or this to me is a conundrum i mean look at that uh it's a lot of empty spaces really it i mean they didn't have to do this they they could have just kept the gun solid you could easily plug it in here it looks pretty cool like that like a you know like a cybertronian vehicle and then they could have gotten rid of this shield to be quite honest because if you do have the earthrise leader class outlaws prime or the kingdom 
meter class Optimus Prime. If you remember that whole episode in season one of, of Generation One cartoons, and Optimus Prime tumbled. The Transformers will return after these messages. And then, hey, and then Optimus is like banged up, and and Huffer goes, "Hey, Optimus, let me take a load off." And then he goes, "You're a true friend, Huffer." And then you can actually do that. And if you keep the truck, the alt mode straight without tabbing that in those feet fully, you can have a more straight looking truck mode like this with Huffer. And you can put the gun here if you wish. I mean, it's still okay. It's like a nice exhaust pipe. But this one, I don't know. Yeah, there. So you'll have some sunscreen or like a shade, sunshade or something. It, this is really useless, if you ask me. And, uh, I mean, he looks great like this. Let me just show him off. Like, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's actually a lot of fun to go with the trailer. And the trailer actually is in perfect scale with Huffer, if you ask me. Okay. Now, uh, going back to the shield, I honestly think they could have done away with this with with the shield they could have kept this as a solid piece and they could have used the extra money or budget to improve on the the heel spurs they could have actually made this one go this way added some pins right here not even pins they could do a friction joint and allow this one to fold up like this because honestly the heel spurs are not necessary uh, for the robot mode to stand because hold on let me just finish transforming him offer maximize no I'm kidding and if you move this cab a little bit closer that heel spur I doubt would be necessary the backpack is actually pretty light you can even actually fold it all the way in like that and it'd still be fine so a nice little hinge here to just close up that gap or they could have some filler pieces like that the budget uh, they could have uh, saved you could have put it here as well you could have folded this and allowed it to collapse somewhere i i don't know how maybe fold those fingers in allowed it to collapse but it, it probably is asking for too much because as it is, the figure looks great in robot mode. The truck mode is acceptable. And so some final thoughts on Huffer. There was a lot of hype on this figure and my expectations were very high. It's still a great figure. The robot mode is near perfect. Like I said, the shield was unnecessary. That split up gimmick for the gun was unnecessary. They could have used the budget to improve the heel spurs. You could have improved the arms, you could have improved the cab, done a lot of more, a lot of things to improve the robot mode and the alt mode. Transformation was not completely fun. It was okay. It was, it adhered to a lot of the G1 transformation. I just wish they could have executed it a little bit more perfectly. I think the robot mode is still the best selling point for this figure sadly the engineering and transformation and that whole shield will bring this figure's grade down to eight and a half out of ten it's still better than the warpath figure in my opinion definitely one to pick up if you are a big fan of the g1 characters let me know in the comment section what you think of huffer and as always hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews if it's your first time here please subscribe if you want to help the channel out please check out my patreon account there's a link in the description box below thanks for watching